Anyone who's spent time around horses knows what they're capable of. It's no wonder horse owners forge deep, loving bonds with their animals. And in a time of crisis, just like any other family member, there is nothing they wouldn't do for them. My two horses, Action and Olivia, are certainly extended members of the family. They're incredible and they're intelligent and they have an immense amount of feeling and emotion. When you care for your horse, they care for you back. Rachel Baker has been a horse owner for more than half her life. Working as a mortgage agent, she lives with her other family, her husband and young son, in Collingwood, Ontario, about two hours north of Toronto. With Olivia, I bought her as a yearling, so she was a baby that just came off her mom. I've had her for 18 years. She's more sensitive, so she's like polar opposite to action. Action we bought when he turned four. He just came off the track. My son rides him. He's a great family horse. So I've had him for a little bit more than 10 years. In January 2018, something came between Rachel and her horses. Struck with a sudden illness, Rachel was unable to care for Action and Olivia. I was going through some health issues, and I wasn't working, obviously, for health reasons, so I had bills still coming in. Unfortunately, yeah, I had to do what I had to do, and I had to find a free lease for the horses, and I had to find it quick, and so that was the route that was taken. The sudden illness put Rachel in a tight spot. She needed to find someone she could trust to look after her horses and pay for their upkeep until she recovered. When a friend in the horse community introduced her to a potential lessee who was interested in using Action and Olivia for riding lessons, Rachel was thrilled. The horses would be looked after and she could focus on her health. But things didn't go according to plan. When Rachel went to retrieve her horses after the lease was up, they were nowhere to be found. 